Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize if I do sound quite nasally, and if I don't have this in, I um I had to take it out for now because I think I'm getting sick. I really hope I'm not. Hopefully, I've almost lost my voice because I work in retail. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to you guys. This is my Christmas haul. I apologize if I blend in with my background. I'm wearing my black shirt. This is my Gryffindor shirt that I got from Hot Topic for Black Friday. It was 10 bucks. They have one in Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and obviously Gryffindor. Getting a ring light after the season is over, or making one rather, I should actually say. So I'll have one for the channel so everything comes up correctly colored, even though I've changed my settings to, you know, show the actual color. I just hate filming the way I film. Because this just, I hate trying to use this desk lamp because it always falls over, so I'll figure it out. I apologize if I'm talking really fast. I'm so tired right now. I went from nine hours of wrapping gifts to, <laughs> like, not consecutively, but it was like four hours consecutively, four more hours after I got out of work. And then, what? I worked on Christmas Eve because, you know, retail. You on Christmas Eve, that's how it is, and then I had to get changed and go to another party after work. Like, I was changing at work to go to another party at, like, after, and then I went to Mass with my friends, and then we were up until 2 o'clock in the morning playing trouble. It was crazy. I'm tired. I just, I need to go to bed. So, on to it. We, I actually should start with AJ, but I might do hers like mid to last because I just I'm just going by whatever I have right next to me right now. Our first year actually doing Secret Santa at um our friend Joe and Jen's house. Well technically my mom's husband's I'm sorry if I'm eating through this. I'm really starving. And I'm lacking energy right now. So I apologize in advance. Whoever. So you know I felt bad because, you know, we don't really hang out, so people don't really know me, but everybody knows I'm an artist and I always need more art supplies. So I got this really nice, I never took out the thing, and it comes in a really, really pretty case. So I'll probably have to show that to you guys when I have more time, more time to film, because right now I have the advantage of two days this week. So I'm glad about that so I can rest and film and edit, so that way I can get some stuff uploaded for you guys. So this is the... An art set. It's got pens. <sighs> I'm assuming these are oil pastels. I don't know what the difference is between them and just crayons because they're basically the same things when they come from these sets. Um, obviously the eraser, the basic stuff there. Markers. These are crayons and I'm assuming this is like a watercolor -y paint kit. That's okay. I have a professional one somewhere. I think I left it at my sister's house though. But honestly, I thought it was in a really, really pretty thing. It was in a really nice case. It's wooden, and I think it's it's wood and metal encasing, and it comes with a handle. So I thought that was really nice. So if I need to take you know art supplies somewhere and I use all the stuff up, I can always put more in it um, afterwards. So I thought that was a really great idea. It also came with the sketchbook obviousness the extra large because I always do very very large pieces of artwork I'm gonna move on to my dad's stuff which we do on Christmas we're always at my dad's on Christmas and then my mom gets us Christmas Eve stuff like that even though I'm like 22 but that's how we do it because my parents are divorced and all that fun junk so his is next just because it's right next to me. Two double pairs of knee high socks. I am actually really happy because I always need these because I love to go ice skating in the winter. I always need them for winter when I'm shoveling because if you guys live in Buffalo, you know that we get really, really ridiculous snow. Except for like the beginning of this season. It's not been super bad. Like it's been like flurries, flurries. We have it for a couple weeks and then it melts and then it ices up. And it wasn't really bad, but I hate when it gets all icy. It's really annoying. A puzzle, if you guys remember these, you can they're parallelograms. I always think of elementary school when I see these because I go parallelogram. Like just like my teacher, that's how they ingrained it in our head. So you can take these out and you can rearrange these any way you want because they're all geometric, so they're all gonna fit into the square any way you want. So I thought that was a really good idea to pass the time. You guys might actually have to help me with this one. They got me this, and I don't think it's what they think it is. It's 14 gauge, and there's no thing on it. 
and it's from Body Candy. Now, they said it's for the lip. Now, I have the Libre piercing, and as you guys know, any of the Libre piercings, they have the backing on it where it's just a flat back on the shaft, and then you have the ball. Well, I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like it's for a dermal, or I want to say like snake bites, but I can't really guess. So if you guys know what this is, please tell me. This is from Body Candy again. And then this is a charm that there's actually a really, really, really like touching story behind this. Um, this is just the box that came in. It's a homework charm. It's a, it's got a dog bead and a dog on it. It says furry friends are the best friends ever because my dog, you guys have seen him in a few videos and I'll put a picture up here of him. He's my bestest buddy, like, no exaggeration. We've had him for like nine years. We adopted him because the owners he had before were terrible. So <laughs> we adopted him when he was a puppy puppy. I think he was like, I want to say he was like 28 to weeks old. I'm not sure. I cannot remember. It's been forever. All I remember is I was like, oh, like 12 and I was in seventh grade. So... Um, I'm always with my dog. I always love hanging out with my dog. I does I feel really bad when I have to leave too. Like when I go to work or if I go to hang out with my friends, I always feel really bad because I'm never home anymore, like I used to be when I was in college. But I'm I'm always taking care of him, stuff like that. Got me a present. Is in my stocking, and there was a note on it. It said from Bub. His name is Buddy, but we all call him Bub or Bubba, stuff like that, because we never call our animals by their actual name in our house. So we. It said, thank you for being my best friend, blah, 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 always taking care of me, I love you so much. I, like, I wish I still had the wrapping piece of paper from it, and I saw it, I didn't even open it, and I cried. <laughs> like, I don't really, like, cry, cry, cry over things like that, like, gifts-wise. It's like, I was bawling to the point I couldn't breathe, I couldn't speak. <laughs> it was... It was really, really, like, intense, and I was, like, really happy about it. And I don't have a dog charm yet, so, um, I know my bracelet thing is down here somewhere. I just do not remember where I said it, because I was going to show you guys. I may not have showed you guys my actual charm bracelet before, that my mom actually got me the original charms I had on it. These are the originals. I don't know if they're going to come up, but this one is an artist's palette headphones. This was for my birthday. And then we got one of them free. I think we got this one free. Or we got the artist palette free. Um, and then this one was from my brother. Also from my birthday. This one was from my dad and my... I'm missing one, guys. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why this is doing this. This one is from my sister. My brother actually got me a duplicate of this, so um, I ended up having to take it back and return it for something else because I would have way too many dang days. This Batman one is from my dad and my stepmom. This is from last year. I think I might have shown you guys this um, because I love Harley Quinn, but they couldn't find anything Harley Quinn. And this is the charm. I don't really know if you guys can see it all that well because the stainless steel is glinting off of everything. Fun charms and a stopper. I just can't wear it at work because I'm always getting it stuck when I work. And I'm always afraid I'm going to break it like my sister because she broke a couple of hers at her work. This is a nose ring. Don't necessarily know what size this is, so I guess I'll find out. And it's in the shape of a heart. You bend it open. And it goes into your nose. I just didn't take it out of the thing because I really don't want to lose all my stuff. I actually really love reptiles. Like, I used to have a turtle. Actually, I had two turtles. Like, one when I was a little, little kid. And then one, um, was in high school, maybe? No, middle school. And then I had anoles, which are basically, like, little chameleons. Only they turn from green to brown to yellow. I think those are the only thing colors. But I really love turtles and I love sea turtles the most, so I got sea turtle earrings and I thought of my stepsister Ashton actually. Because she loves freaking turtles. 
guys know, I love Harley Quinn, obviously, I have stated it in previous videos, and I also did a tutorial on how to be her, like, her makeup from the Suicide Squad video, so, socks, knee-high socks, with little gesture hat, ball things, tassels, are they tassels or are they balls? I guess we'll find out. Also, speaking of Harley Quinn, my stepsister got me those, my other stepsister. My dad comes up to me when I'm buying one of these other presents the other day, um, and he's like, do you have ten bucks? And I'm like, no, I'm like, I don't carry cash on me anymore, stuff like that. Like, I'm really lazy, I don't like to carry cash on me sometimes, it's just like inconvenient, I hate trying to pull it out, and if it's crinkled, and, you know, because my, my wallet's a dick, so, he's like, um... He's like, well, I need you just bought me ten bucks. And I'm like, here, I'll give you my card, go cash it out, whatever. I'm like, I won't look at it. Um, but I just need to make sure you know. So, I was like, oh. And he goes, why? He goes, well, I had to get some. He's like, it's for you. I'm like, oh, so I'm buying my own present then for Christmas. And he's like, basically, yeah. But he paid me back from all the junk, so it's fine. So I like to tease him about it now. And I always see the shirt when I go into Walmart. And the only thing I didn't like about it was how... The way it's kind of blacked out on the shirt, it got me this Harley Quinn shirt. Because I've only got... I have four now. Because I have that mesh shirt I have that I bought from Spencer's that I totally forgot about. <laughs> it's wrapping paper. But... You get to color it. It's like traditional color stuff. Like, you guys know the adult coloring books, right? This is what I'm getting at. This is like what it is, only it's gift wrap and it's gift tags and a bow and you can color it. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. But I thought it was a really cool idea. You guys remember? I took ceramics. I've only got a few, a couple tools. I mean, because somebody sold them. Or I can say who. But I was in a sculpting set because I want to start doing like makeup in terms of not only monster makeup but um more makeup but I want to get more into the effects now because I, I do a lot of like beauty oriented stuff right now but obviously when it comes down to it I want to be more ready for Halloween so I can throw out more effects based things. Also I really like this sculpt actually. So I got a clay tool set. It's 15 pieces. For cutting, fine detailing, sculpting, and shaping, eight. And then there's those on the back. A couple of these I actually have from my ceramics class still. So these will also come in handy. I need to get a pair of metal ones, so for like makeup in general. I got, I think it's 10 comics for 20 bucks. So. These are all the comics I got, yeah, because I am I love comics, actually, if you guys didn't know. This is, like, a NASCAR-based one. It came out in 2000. It's called Race Warrior, so if you guys know anything about that, please let me know. I don't really like NASCAR-based things. I think it's interesting that they make one, but I don't like NASCAR in general. The ROG series, I actually knew about this. I've seen this. It's the Kevin, this is the variant cover. This has to be from, like, the 80s or the 90s, I want to say. I don't know. There's one of them I saw that has a Nintendo GameCube advertisement in it. I can see it. I don't know. Guys, this, I think this is a newer one because it feels like all the newer comics. This is a Marvel comic. I love Marvel and DC. Also, I love Dark Horse style comics as well. And those are really fun to read. Your celebration of X-Men in 1993. It's a Spider-Man comic featuring the X-Men. This is still in its uh, case. I didn't take it out because I really don't like taking these out. Um, the other ones just weren't in one when I took it out. It's just like this one was its own little separate thing. So, I if I want to open it, guys. <laughs> It'd be some kind of medieval Japanese type comic. I've never even heard of it, but I'm really interested in it because I flipped through the pages for a little bit, and it does seem really, really interesting. And I, I love reading manga. I used to call it magna. I apologize. I was a kid. It just happens. 
this it came with the thing. So I think you just get 20 random comics, I was assuming, or 10 random comics. I never knew that Pokemon had a comic. I was alive when the Pokemon cards were just coming out. Like, my brother was a kid, but I was, like, just being born when they were coming out. I'm older than Pokemon by, like, a couple years. So, the fact that they have a comic is ridiculous for me. Because, like, collecting Pokemon cards was, like, the shit when you were a kid. But if you did it when you were, like, middle school in my age, you were considered, like, the biggest loser ever. And now that everybody's sitting there playing Pokemon again, I see all these people buying Pokemon cards where I work, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm like... This is ridiculous. Like, it's really cool, but it's, like, crazy at the same time. This is from August of 02. I don't know what issue this is. This is issue 8, I guess. It's a really thin comic, I notice. But I really cannot wait to read that. Around that year. It's, like, the 90s and the 93. Um, I want to say this is going to be, like, a series, more serious version of, like, Sculpey! Sculpey! I have really bad memories with this stuff, but I also have really good memories with this stuff. It's just basically like baking it. I have really bad memories. Uh, this is a pound that comes with every single goddamn color. Yes. Which means there will be some stuff being sculpted <laughs> in the future. Also, you guys know my love for Supernatural. Do you not? I have adult coloring books as well, but like. As soon as I saw this, I flipped the lid. The supernatural fucking official coloring book. And I actually figured out that there's pictures in the back that they coincide with the pictures in the book that you colored. But there's one in, or ten. This is the picture. Yeah, it's from the Changing Channels episode. It looks nothing like them. The rest of them do. It's just these two. Like, Sam looks completely warped. Like, obviously, he's on the other side. Um, I just used the wrong finger though. <laughs> but so does Dean. Like, totally worked. I know our next step. I know, I know what you're saying. How can there be more? There is, there always is. Best friend Christine. She's my wifey. The, she got this at an antique store. And it turns out, like, the lights turn on and everything. So that's really cool. And then if you let go and you press it a second time, it makes noise. Listen. I'm really excited to put that up on my shelf. It'll fit. It'll fit. If not, I guess I'll figure out. I have to figure out where to put it. So I thought that was really great. She knows me so well. The comic. This is the Robin to the Joker's Wild number. This is the first issue. In the four issue mini series, comes with a holographic card. In it. You can tell me how cool this shit is. It's, it's crazy. She found it in the antique store too. Like the one that we have here. It's called I think it's called in your in your mother's attic or in the attic, and it's in the Eastern Hills Mall, and it's like the coolest place ever. My brother and his card. Isn't he great? He knows. He just, he knows. Look at it. <laughs> oh, my bracelet from Allie. Our family friend slash cousin. I don't know. Final one, and she knows that I have an obsession. And I mean obsession with Nightmare Before Christmas. I almost fucking peed my pants. Like, I was speechless. Like, I couldn't say anything. And obviously I can not drink. I just, I needed so much wine after this week. And it says, we're simply meant to be... Because we are basically our own Sally and Jack. I don't know why this is lifting off of here. Um, so hopefully I can fix that. And I thought of something because I have actually a friend named Jack. So we are the Sally and Jack. We're Sam and Jack. It's really strange. This whole box is from Amber. It's ridiculous. It's all full of makeup. This is going to be a completely and separate video. Also, there's penises on the back, so it will be an R-rated video. The Calandre Walking Dead calendar from my mother. She and her husband, slash my stepfather, also paying for my tattoos that I'm going to get on the 27th. They're by Carlos. They're pretty badass looking. I think they're actually all leather. So, they look like some kick-some-ass boots. 
So hopefully I don't ruin them in like the week I wear them. Alright, so that is gonna be it for this video. My Christmas haul. I don't do this because I wanna be like, oh hey, I got more than you, I got all this shit because you know, blah blah blah. I do this because I have family and friends that live very, very far away and they always ask me what I got every year and I figure this is easier. I also have I also like to like compare everything that I get with my friends and stuff like that because we get really excited about when we get other people presents. So that's mainly the reason why it's not for materialistic purposes. That has been my Christmas haul. Please, 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 please be <laughs> nice to each other going into the next year. But if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. This has been a more casual video. <laughs> Uh, leave me a comment below and tell me what you guys got. You know, if you got any cool shit, like I did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. If you guys want to start receiving notifications from me, please hit the little bell notification below as well. I'll see you guys in the video in the next video. And hopefully, into the next year, I will still be filming. So, bye guys. Have fun. Be safe.